Today on our 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe, we're going to take a look at the 23 by 60 Strongbird Carlson cargo carrier. That part number is CC-100. Now I already have it on my vehicle. Just going to show you a few features of it. Like I said, it's made out of a sturdy steel. You hold up to 500 pounds. It has the black uh, powder coat, so it's helped from rust and corrosion. You also see it has the mesh bottom, so it's going to keep out pretty much all your dirt and your debris. So we're going to go ahead and take a few measurements here. Overall distance, we're going to see first. So we've added 26 inches to our vehicle. The closest point is 3 inches. And for our ground clearance, I'm looking right up under the screw right here. That's going to be 11 and a half inches. Now, we see we can get in and out of our vehicle. So if we need to get in the back of our hatch, but well, we always want to let you know about the breaking point. So when you're loading up your cargo carrier, and I'm looking at approximately about 17 inches. So just think about that before you're loading up your cargo area, cargo carrier, I'm sorry. You don't want to go over 17 inches so you can still get in the back of your hatch to take things out or put things in. Now with the Santa Fe, it has the dual exhaust, one in the driver's side, one in the passenger side. They're actually pointing straight out. So if you have any heat system materials, you may want to place them toward the middle or anywhere else on your cargo carrier, just to keep that in mind. Now this is equipped for two inch hitches only. It does not come with a penny clip. You can find it on our website. That part number is PC3. Or you can find any other uh, penny clips, anti-rattle bolts, and locks also. So that's going to complete our look at the 23 by 60 Strongberg Carlson cargo carrier. That part number again is CC. Dash one zero zero on today's 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. Let's see how it does on our test course. Here it is on our test course. First is the slalom area, which simulates side to side action, like turning the corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternate speed bumps, which show you the twisting action, like hitting a pothole, road debris, or hitting a curb. Finally, we are at the solid speed bumps, which show you up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out your driveway.